Yeah. Good morning. Good job, Jonah, for putting those glasses on. Good morning, Serenity. Okay, so as we're going through. Pay attention, okay, please. Here we go. So four plus four is what? You can show me on your board. You can just put in the, go for it, Serenity. Four plus four. Eight. Eight, okay. Three plus two. Mayrin, go for it. Five. Good job. Good job, Serenity. Good job, Mayrin. Go for it, Mayrin. That's okay, Mayrin. Jump in there. Mayrin, go for it. Five. Five. Athena says five. Five plus two is what? Uh, Athena says seven. Mayrin says seven. Uh, Serenity says seven. See, Jonah says seven. Okay, so we have seven here. What's two plus two? Yeah. Go for it, Quinn. Oh. oh, Serenity says four. Quinn said, what do you think it is? Nope, you got to sit up. Nuh-uh. Sit up, Quinn. Tell me your answer. You're not giving up like on that on me. What's four? What's two plus two? I'll wait. Two plus two. Come on. I know you know it. What's two plus two? Let's go. Four. Four. Okay. Okay. So the reason we're doing this is because of, the reason is, is when you guys understand playing with numbers and you start understanding them as smaller, little tiny problems, you can create really big numbers, okay? So you just created this number down here. Oops, I deleted all of it. Silly me. So 4,758. Because we made them into smaller equations and made it step by step by step, okay? So we're gonna try this again, but you're gonna see the whole number this time, okay? So let me erase my board. We're gonna do this step by step by step. Okay, so we have our ones, we have our tens, we have our hundreds and we have our thousands. Good job. Your first number on top is going to be 3,000. Remember, every place value gets a, a, um, a comma. So 3,000 comma 241. Your next number is gonna be 2,241. We have to add those two numbers together. Okay. When we add these two numbers together, where do we start? Do we start in the thousands or we start in the ones place? Where do we start? Athena. Let's start in the thousands because it's the highest. We, okay. That's, in a, that's a perspective. Mayrin, where do we start? In the ones place. Why do we start in the ones place? Because you you should do the little number first. So you could just start. So the end will be a little bit harder. So you could do the easier one first. Okay. You can also start from the ones place. Because when we start getting into a subtraction, Marin, when we start getting into subtraction, we have to regroup, which means we're going to have to pull from other areas. So if we start with the ones, it makes it easier. Okay. Good job, Athena. Good job, Athena. So we're going to start from the ones place. We always start from the first step over here, right? So say we're down here and we're this little person and we see each place value as a stepping stone. Our little person, are they going to go from ones and go to the thousands? Or are they going to take it step by step? Quinn, what's going to happen? Do you think they're going to jump to the end or are they going to take it step by step? I think they're going to take step by step, but I actually was my and I was using my number line, line and I think the answer is eight. 
because it stopped at a. That's okay. We're going to take it step by step. So we'll take it step by step so you can still use your number line, okay? So we have to take it step by step by step. I love that you're still using that number line. So it still will work. We're just going to take it step by step by step, okay, Quinn? Okay, so we're going to a little person. Oh, I just scribbled on him. Scribble, scrabbled. Silly, silly me. Scribble, scrabbled. Okay, so let's look at our first place value over here. We're looking at the ones. What's one plus one, Quinn? One plus one. Mm -hmm. Two. Good job. Okay, so we have two here. And since because we're in our first place value, two in our ones, how many ones cubes do we have, Thena? How many ones cubes do we have in our ones? We have one. We have two. We have two. Okay, so we have two there. Now we're going to move to our tens place value. Okay, four plus four, Serenity. What's four plus four, Serenity? Four plus four. Quinn's got it. Athena's got it. Oh, Serenity's got it. Eight. Now, in our tens place value, we have eight tens. How many ten sticks do we have in our tens, Mayrin? Mayrin, how many ten sticks do we have? Eight. Eight. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. So we have 80 in our tens. Now we're going to go to the next stepping stone. Our next one, two plus two is what, Jonah? We're in our hundreds. Two plus two, Jonah. Four. Four, Quinn agrees with you. So we have, uh oh, I tried to erase everything. Silly me. So we have four here, but we're in our hundreds. So that means we have four hundreds cubes down here. We have four hundreds. Awesome. So we're now in our thousands place value, which is a really big number. What is three plus two, Quinn? What's three plus two? Five plus mm -hmm. two is, it's five. It's five, good job. But we're in our thousands, so this means we have like a huge number. So we have, we have to make the cubes. Those cubes are big numbers. So we have our thousands placed down here. We have to make 5,000. I don't even know if I can fit 5,000 down here, but we're gonna try. There we go. So we, even though we can make it, we got 5,000. Keep in mind, every three place values, we have a comma. So you know, okay? Yes, Quinn. What's a comma? A comma is like a, it holds, it holds the in-between. So it knows, you, I don't, how, how would I say? That's a good question, Quinn. How would I explain that? Hmm. How would I explain? Let me get back to you, Quinn, okay? Okay, let me think about that one because I want to make sure it makes sense. That's a really good, so, but commas are, we usually, we usually use them in English. So we usually use them in language arts, but in math, they get used in place value as kind of like signifying that there's going to be three place values. So for instance, Quinn, oop, wrong way. <clears throat> so when we have place values, right? You have our ones, we have our tens, we have our hundreds, then we have a comma, then we have our ones, yeah. our one thousands. So because we're in our thousands, right? Oop, Ms. Make... Maria. So yes. a comma is dividing. So like that's one number and this is the other number. Exactly. You're so smart. And so that is exactly what it is. Yeah. Sometimes you could do it. In the sentence too, it like sometimes when I'm writing in my class in the um language arts, uh huh, and they ask me to name a bunch of different things. I do commas instead of and, and then That's at the end I do and. 
Marin, that's a really good way to explain it. Thank you for that. Those are so smart. I knew you would help me out. Couldn't think of the word. I love that you were helping me out. So, so you have a hundred. So, for instance, in here you have ones, tens, hundreds, then you have your comma. So let's put that in another color. Okay. So you have your comma. Then you have a thousand, which is kind of like the ones, but in the thousands place. Then you have ten thousand. Then you have a hundred thousand. If I can spell, that would help. Then we have another comma. So you notice how there's three place values that we went to. So there's three place values, three place values here, comma, one here, two, three, comma. Then you go into the next set of place values. Does that make sense? Okay. This is way, this is, this, you guys are getting, this is, this is way, 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 way couple grade levels. That's okay. When you get there, you'll understand. You'll be like, oh, I know what I did. I did this in first grade. So you'll be able to describe yes. that. Awesome. Okay. That's teaching somebody first grade when they already did first grade. I know, but you're going to have, you're going to be like, oh, I can help other people, Quinn, because like you just helped me with the comma, right? That's going to be perfect. I'm calling equation, but yeah, we have. We're gonna do a big equation. You'll get. We we'll get there. I know what. 100, I know what hundred plus a hundred is. Two oh. hundred. <gasps> See, it's gonna be easy. Okay, so let's do another one. Okay, we're gonna do another one. So we're gonna do a thousand. Oops. So mm -hmm. when, we get, when we get back from um, when we get back from break. We're going to have somebody come visit us so they can see what you guys are doing in here. Okay. I know because we're doing something completely different compared to other first grade classrooms. Okay. So 2,000, I don't like that one. So 2,437 plus 1,433. Now this is where we get a little tricky. So I might trick you a little bit. So let's look at the first one. Seven plus three is gonna be what? What's seven plus three? Athena, what's seven plus three? Seven plus three and, um, sorry, 10. 10. Okay. So now we have a 10 here in the ones. Can the 10 stay there in the ones? No. Where does the 10 go? Where's the 10 go? It goes with the tens because if the one creates a tens, it skips the tens. Okay, so it goes next door. So this one, we're gonna put a one in the little bank. So the bank goes next door. So it goes Just next to the neighbor. It doesn't want it. Yeah. And then what gets left in the what gets left in the ones? If the ten zero. went four, zero. So this is gonna be a zero. So now we have three plus three plus one. What's three plus three plus one? What's three plus three? And then we have a little one in our bank. Three plus three plus one. Athena, do you have it? Or you forget to take your hand down? Let's see, three plus three. Well, we forgot our ones lit up here. Remember we had our, from there, we have our 10 stick that got moved Seven. over. Good job. So three plus three. Mm-hmm. Three, three plus, plus three is six. Seven. So add one more. Then it's job, six. Quinn. I'm, I'm seven. Yep, you have seven. So three plus three plus one is seven. So now you go into the hundreds. What's four plus four? What's four plus four? Go for it, Quinn. What's four plus four? Eight. Good job. 
eight. And then last but not least, we have our thousands over here. That's two plus one. Two plus one. Serenity, go for it. So I want to show her that one. <laughs> Good job, Serenity. 3,870. Good job. Make sure after your three, you put that little desk, you put that, not the decimal point, the, the comma. Okay, remember we used the, the three place values, we have to put a comma there, okay? So 3,870. Good job. That's not easy. But you did it, because we're just playing with numbers. That's all we're doing. Good job, Mayrin. Yep, 3,770. Three is that 3,870? Miss Marie got our numbers mixed up. Just don't listen to her. <laughs> okay. Okay. That is what we have today. You guys are going to go into, because you have that, guess what? Today's math test is looking at something like this 15 minus blank equals 10. That's what your math test is going to be working through. What's 15 minus blank equals 10? Five. Oh, Marin thinks it's five. Serenity thinks it's five. Let's see, Quinn. Use your number line. Because. Good job, Athena. Marin, you can explain it. Go for it. It's okay. Take your time, Quinn. Because if it has. If you have 15 mm -hmm. and then you take away five. Mm -hmm. So just pretend like I have five more fingers. One, two, three, four, five. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. Then I have 10. Good job. I love that. Thank you for explaining that. Good job. No, you have that. Missy. See, Quinn, so 15 minus 10, so you can also do it as, so 15, you could do as 15 minus 10 equals five. And then the five would also go here because it's like a fact family. Okay, because you can- I forgot about the minus. That's okay, you're way ahead of me. So if you do this, look at Quinn, if we go this way, if we say 15 plus 10 equals what? What's 15 plus 10? A little bit of multiple, like, I can't say it right. Multiplicate, well, multiplication, mm, multiplication. that would be a very big number. 15 plus and 10. It, like, like, it's kind of like a plus tone this way, but it's times, so like three times three, nine, four times four, mm -hmm. 16. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But that one's, if you do three times, if you do three, three times. Three. I can't do, I can't do it. I lost my number. Lost your number? Where did you lose your number to? Where'd it go? What I mean, I lost my number. I can't find the number where I was. What do you mean? On your number line? Okay, so you have to find 15. Find 15 on your number line. That's okay. Find 15 on your number line. I lost my number. That's all. You're, you're fine. You're okay. You can also look in the tens and ones like this, 15, and then add this way, and you can add 15 plus two, right? You have the two, one plus one in the tens is 25. Athena, go for it. Um, I was going to say, if you're using 15 and a 10, what you can do is use different fact families. You can do you can do two plus families and two minus families with those num those with those three numbers: the fifteen, the ten, and the five. You can. You definitely can because if you know fifteen plus ten, 
Then you know 15. Well, 15, because we want to get to, oh, wrong. I'm I'm wrong. That would be, but we'd get five from. I'm silly. Okay, Miss Marie is done because her brain is done. <laughs> her brain is done today. <laughs> uh, 